Welcome back! Today we are going to take a look at Project 9 in the Adreno Project Book. This project is a motorized pinwheel that uses transistors and high current voltage loads. For this project we'll be using a switch, a 10 kilo ohm resistor, a DC motor, a diode, a MOSFET, a 9 volt battery, a battery snap, and jumper wires. Let's talk a little bit about transistors. A transistor is a miniature semiconductor that regulates or controls current or voltage flow, in addition to amplifying and generating these electrical signals and acting as a switch or gate for them. This way, you can turn a higher current voltage motor on and off with your Adreno. So let's begin by building our board. We have our power on our ground connected from our Arduino board to our power bus. Now I'm going to attach the switch. One side of the switch will be hooked up to the power, the other side is going to be hooked up to digital pin 2 on our Arduino board. We are also going to connect that same side with a 10 kilo ohm resistor to our ground. Next, I'm going to connect the 9 volt battery snap to the other power bus on the other side of our breadboard. So our transistor has three pins, a gate, a drain, and a source. The top pin, which is the gate, is going to be connected to pin 9 on our Arduino board. We'll connect the center pin, or the drain, to our motor. And the final pin, or the source, will be connected to the ground. So this is the point where we're going to connect the motor to the board. We are going to use a diode for this. To like the LED, you have to connect your diode in a certain way. There is a stripe on one end of the diode, and that end is going to be connected to your power. The diode is also going to be in line with the drain of your transistor. So with our diode, we are connecting the anode of the diode to the ground of the motor and the cathode of the diode to the power of the motor. This may seem a little bit backwards, but this will help prevent any back voltage generated by the motor from going back into our circuit. That last black jumper wire I connected was just to ensure that both of the power buses are connected to our board through the ground. So the code for this project is pretty simple. We're going to declare a couple constants, which is our switch pin to be number 2 and our motor pin is number 9. And then we're also going to have a switch state starting out at 0. For our setup, the pin mode is going to be set for our motor pin as output and our switch pin as input. And for our loop, we're basically going to just say, hey, if the switch is pushed, then this motor is going to be turned on. If not, it's going to be off. So now I'm just going to upload my code to the board and I'm not having any issues, so let's take a look at what it looks like in real life. As you can see here, I'm pressing my button and nothing's happening, and this is just because my power came out from my battery. And now I have it working correctly. So let's go ahead and start building the pinwheel. So when we first set up our board, we got all these extra little pieces that we popped out, and these are the pinwheel pieces. So I'm just going to attach the template to a CD with some tape. And then I'm going to attach it to my motor, and I'm just using some sticky glue dots for that. And as you can 
see as we test it out, it works. So next week we're going to be working on project 10 in the Andrito project book, and that project is going to be a Zoe trope. So we will be using a motor again, but this time we will be having it go backwards and forwards, and we'll also be using an H-bridge 